The second entry in our VFX list is the VFX envelope. Let's have a look what it does. Hi. We have seen what great possibilities slide notes gave us when modulating properties like panning and mod X. The VFX envelope works very similar. To make a long story short, if what the content of the video before was slide notes 2.0, think of the VFX envelope as slide notes 2.0 on steroids. Modulating note properties with slide notes gives you control over three parts. The starting point, the length of the modulation and the final value which is reached when the modulation is finished. I open the patcher, copy the same preset over, insert a VFX envelope and copy the pattern to the new patcher. Let's concentrate on the first note. I keep the slide notes above and mute them just for being able to see how the properties were set. I rebuilt the same modulation in the corresponding envelopes. We didn't modulate velocity, so I deactivate the envelope. With panning we went from the middle to the right, back to the middle and to the left. I set the envelope to tempo matching. Activate snapping and set my start and end points. After two beats, the first slide note starts to move the panning slowly to the right, with the length of one beat. Directly afterwards, the next slide note starts and moves the panning back to the middle, again with the length of one beat. Then the next slide note starts and moves the panning completely to the left. The Mod X envelope I prepare the same way with tempo, snapping and length. The first slide note moves the Mod X from beat 3 and finishes again one beat later. The next slide note is set to the middle, so we set the envelope the same way. Everything else we leave untouched. Let's compare the two positions. The first two bars play our original. The last two bars are our recreation with the VFX envelope. It's the same modulation. And this reveals the weakness of the slide note method. The modulation always happen in a pure linear fashion, from the previous value to the set value of the slide note. We don't have any control over the curve. It does always the same. This is where the VFX envelope shines. We can insert any number of points, set them to any shape and have total control what happens in the duration of a single note. Let's see this in action. We have here a C4 note over 4 bars. The plugin got 16 so called articulators. Each articulator reacts to a set note color and key range and is playable polyphonically. Means every note of the same color and in the same key range triggers its own set of envelopes when playing while another note is still held. For each articulator, there are tabs for the most properties like in the piano roll editor. Panning, Velocity, Mod X, Mod Y and Pitch. Each tab provides you with an envelope and a parallel working LFO for the corresponding parameter. The base sets the minimum start point at which value the envelope or LFO begins to work. The envelope knobs determine how strong the envelope modulates the parameter in a positive or negative way, starting at the value the base knob is set to. The LFO got an envelope with which you can set the modulation depth of the LFO. 
The LFO knob set the maximum strength of this modulation in a positive or negative way. Alt right click points to delete them. Right click curve points to reset them. Right click anywhere to insert points. Right click a point and choose a curve type. If you end up with a solid colored block, just move the mouse into the middle of this part. When the mouse curve changes, left click and hold while moving the mouse up and down. Moving the mouse up on this wave curve gives you a triangle wave, which gets slower and slower the more you move the mouse up, until it gets a straight line. The opposite way works the same as a sine wave, until it gets a curved line. To match our incoming note, I enable the tempo and snapping to grid, and drag the endpoint of my envelope to the end of the fourth bar. Now I start to create my envelope. The pitch envelope is the most complex one. The envelope level has a range of plus minus 48 semitones and the grid reacts to that. With these settings we got now a complete vertical range of 8 octaves divided into their semitones. Please note that the semitone grid lines get scaled if the interface is set to a smaller size. At this level I can set the point to one semitone below without problems. While already at this state the previous semitone line has disappeared. And the envelope line sits in between two visible lines. Where moving the point snaps now to the only visible ones. Nevertheless working with these high envelope level settings makes no sense for the most use cases anyway and setting it to a more suitable setting of 12 semitones give you all the grid lines for plus minus one octave, even at the default size. The envelope set to the middle, a base level of 50% represents the original pitch. 25% means one octave down, 0% two octaves down, 75% one octave up, 100% two octaves up. I set the envelope to one octave, leave the base at 50%, enable tempo and snap, and make my envelope again four bars long. Because I've set before my last point to hold, every point I insert now will be set to the same curve type. I set my envelope like this, which plays now instead of a long C4 note, first C4, then a D4, an A3, and back to C4 again. We said each tape contains an LFO which works in parallel to the envelope. So we change the visibility to the LFO and set its level as well to one octave. At the very end, the LFO and image line products work very similar to the normal envelopes, just with the difference that normal envelopes modulate directly the chosen parameter, while the envelope in the LFO section modulates the LFO strengths. I load here a preset I made before, and this is how it sounds. with some effects.
but the VFX envelope got a different workflow than modulation via slide notes. While with slide notes we can set different values for each one, we have to work with note colors for modulating notes with different envelope curves. Notes of the same note color will always trigger, respectively re-trigger, the same set of envelopes, as long as they fall into the same key range. So in this example, every note will get the same modulation. This is not what we had before. To modulate notes differently like needed to match our previous settings, I have to set them to different note colors. Next, I set the chosen note colors to different articulators and edit the envelopes to match our settings before. The pan envelope of the second articulator I leave in the middle. The third starts in the middle, goes fully to the left and then fully to the right. For the fourth, I set the envelope like this. This matches our previous pan modulation. Just as the note properties in the piano roll editor, the VFX envelope is made in first place to work with FL Studio native generators. There are two tricks to make them work with VST instruments too, but this will go beyond the scope of this video. The VFX envelope is another great expansion for modulating native generator plugins and fills perfectly the gap between per note modulation with normal notes in the piano roll editor and slide notes with their purely linear behavior. Enjoy so far modulating your note properties with the VFX envelope. And thank you for watching.